Well, hey, y'all. My name is Timmy McTimmons, and welcome to my new show. Welcome to episode one of my new show, The Wildlife, with Timmy McTimmons. My name is Timmy McTimmons. And on this show, we're going to be showing you all about living out here in the wild. As you can see, we are in the wild. There ain't no life out here for about 100 miles or so, so it is really wild out here. Hey now, y'all, keep it over here. Keep it over here. Like I said, y'all, truly wild out here. As you can see, there's only trees around me. Truly wild out here. And in case you don't know who I am, uh, I'm actually kind of famous. You see, this ain't my first TV show. See, I just moved out here from a far off land called California. Maybe y'all have heard of it before. And out there, I had a TV show with my brother Tommy. We had a TV show where we went up into the mountains. And in case you don't know what a mountain is, it's like a giant rock that just goes up and up and up and up and it just keeps going on up. Well, anyway, my brother Tommy and I, we had a TV show. We went up into them mountains there and we just survived. We we recorded ourselves living up in them mountains. And we even we even ran into a Bigfoot one time. It was it was just crazy. Well, I guess that wasn't really a Bigfoot. It was just my brother Tommy playing a prank on me. But we was up in them mountains and we had our own TV show. In case you don't believe me, well, here's a clip from that there show. I'm Timmy. I'm Tommy. And, and welcome, welcome to, to our, our show. show. Told y'all, it was pretty famous too. Every Wednesday night from 6.30 to 6.35, we was on the television. Well, we was on one television, but it was pretty big. And we had a we had a pretty good fan base. We had more people watching than I could count. There was about 20 or 30 people watching. And I mean, that's just a lot, a lot of people watching that show. But as you can see, my brother Tommy, well, he ain't out here with me. That wasn't a car, that was just a bear. Bears make the same sound as a car sometimes because we're out here in the wild. There ain't no cars around here. But as you can see, my brother Tommy, he ain't out here with me. He uh, he actually stayed back in California. IA. He told me he had something to finish called school. I don't know what school is, but he had to go finish it. Uh, so I moved out here to Wisconsin because, well, they told me it ain't truly wild out there in California. IA. If you want to be truly in the wild you got to come out here to Wisconsin so I'm out here in Wisconsin trying to find the true wildlife out here and my brother he's back in California IA finishing school whatever that is but if I'm honest with y'all I really do miss my brother it makes me sad doing this show without him we always said we was going to be famous together and well we was famous out there for a little bit but now I'm out here doing this show getting famous out here and he's out there finishing school so we aren't together anymore and you know that makes me kind of sad I do miss my brother but I guess at the same time I'm kind of happy because we both are doing what we want to do with our lives I'm out here recording this TV show and he's out there finishing school so we both are doing what we want to do with our lives and you know what I'm happy for us and I mean I'll see him again it's not like I'll never see my brother again and you know, maybe on one of these here episodes, we can have him make a guest appearance over the FaceTimes or something like that. However, that technology works. So, you know, I guess it's kind of weird that you can be sad and happy at the same time. But, you know, it reminds me of something my mama used to tell me. My mama's a very smart lady. You'll get to know her pretty well from the things that she tells me. One of those things she told me was, you know, you can be sad, but at the same time, you can choose to be joyful. And that's just really cool. It's kind of confusing. I don't really know what it means, but it kind of helps me feel a little bit better knowing that I can be sad and happy at the same time because I do miss my brother. But at the same time, I'm happy that he gets to finish his school, whatever that is. But it's all good. I can be sad and happy at the same time. And now, you know, let's get on to the survival part of this episode because this is The Wild Life with Timmy McTimmons. So we're going we're gonna to show you how to survive. And, you know, one of the first things you need to do when you're out wild, when you're out trying to survive, is you need some food. If you don't got food, you're going to die. And luckily for us, nature provides all kinds of food. All kinds of food you can find out in nature. And I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's this here grass on the ground. So first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find some good grass. Now this is some good looking grass. I don't know if you can see this, but it's pretty well, pretty well cut. It's cut pretty well. I don't know how grass 
It's so perfectly cut out in nature, but hey, I'll take it. And so you know what some people would do with this grass is they would use it as like bait. They would try to attract in maybe a bunny or some squirrels, and then they would eat the bunny or the squirrels. But you know what? We ain't got time for none of that. We're starving, so we need to eat some of this here food. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna take this grass, maybe take off the little bottom part because it's kind of dirty and gross. Once you got a nice little bit of clean grass, you're gonna eat it. If it's good enough for the bunnies, it's good enough for me. Mmm. Yeah, that's good grass. Better than mama's cooking. Well, it's not better than mama's cooking, but it's still not bad. So what you're gonna wanna do when you're out in nature is just eat whatever you find on the ground. If it's grass, you gotta eat that grass. Whatever nature provides, that's how you eat it, and that's how you survive out in nature. Well, this was episode one of The Wildlife with Timmy McTimmons. Another bear driving, oh, another bear walking by. Not a truck, promise. Not a highway right there, I'm out in nature. So that was episode one. Remember, find something on the ground, eat it on the ground. That's why nature put it there. See y'all in the next episode. You know, I'm so glad I brought these that here chips with me because I'll tell you what, that grass ain't going to feed nobody. Got a little bit of grass in my mouth. That's gross. See you later, cars. We're not recording no more, are we? Okay, good. Mm. Don't know what I'd do without potato chips.